So what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat and I in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can easily even out and match skin tones or skin color in Photoshop. So and later on I'll also be showing you how you can easily create an action or a shortcut that is going to enable you even out skin tones faster in Photoshop. And if I told you I haven't hit the like button on this video, simply hit the like button because it is going to help YouTube push and recommend this video to many people out there who are interested in learning more about photography and retouching and editing in general so simply do me a favor and hit the like button on this very video so you can see this is a before and the after you can see before the skin was not looking even you can see hand was different from the rest of the body and you can see right now everything is looking nice and beautiful and also uniform and if at all you want to download the image follow along simply check the links in the description of this very video so you can see before and after for the process that you're going to be achieving so just come and delete this like i said you're going to do it and understand how to do it and later on learn how to create an action or a shortcut so how to even out skin tones or skin color in photoshop we are simply going to come the adjustments right here and simply come and select gradient map so when you select gradient map it's going to open up the gradient or apply a gradient over the image so don't mind if at all your image is displaying a different color from from mine right here so don't mind about this because we are about to change uh, this color to the one of our own liking so after applying the gradient layer it's going to apply this color or any other ran random color over the image just come and hide the gradient layer right there and make sure that you have selected the gradient icon make sure that you have selected the gradient icon and not the layer mask so make sure this icon has been selected then simply left click on the color option and you can see it is going to open up the gradient editor and as soon as it opens up the gradient editor simply come and make sure the samples is set to 5 by 5 average then simply we just want to copy colors from the area that we prefer or the area of our choice which is the first area so we just want to copy colors from the first area so that we can match them to the hands and the rest of the body like the neck and uh, the shoulders in this case so just come and simply the pointer on the left hand side is going to represent the darkest point of the skin and the one on the right hand side is going to represent the brightest point of the skin and later on we're going to create one in the middle to represent the mid tones or the mid skin color of uh, the skin rather so i'm just going to simply left click on on the left hand pointer for the darkest point make sure the location is set to zero and left click on the color option and simply left click on the darkest point of the skin and click ok then left click on the right pointer make sure the location is 100 percent or 100 and left click on the color option and left click over the brightest point of the skin and click ok then click in the middle and type in the location to 50 then left click on the color option and simply left click over the color that you feel is going to be the mid tones and hit ok and you can see by just doing this it has mapped the colors from the darkest point the mid tones and the brightest point of the skin in this case then simply come and click ok now you can see it is not displaying the effect the reason for this is because we have hidden or we hid the layer represented the gradient map so simply come and turn it on by left clicking on the eye icon then change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color and you can see it is now displaying over the image and it is close to what we want to achieve so just come to the layer mask right here remember in photoshop white is going to reveal and black is going to hide so the reason as to why this is displaying over the image is because the white layer mask is active so just want to hide the effect from affecting the overall image and later on paint it back on only a skin so with the white layer mask selected simply press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard then come under the brushes right here and get the brush tool the normal brush tool make sure the blend mode is normal opacity and the flat 100 percent and also make sure the hardness is set to zero and soft round brush has been selected so by doing that simply come and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches or you can press d on the keyboard to 
reset and have black and white if at all you have any other random color displaying instead of black and white so press d on the keyboard or you can left click on the tiny boxes right there and after doing that simply increase on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and by doing that you can now come and paint over the skin so you left click and hold down and you paint over the skin just like that and you can see right now we are now having uniform skin tones even in the face itself because it had all those random colors all over the place so i'm just going to paint just like that so take your time as you're painting you, because you don't want to have bad results at the end of the day so i'm just going to paint just like that so i've painted on a uh, skin area and the neck area too and now you can see that the skin is now looking nice better and also even so when you feel like you have painted extras that you did not want paint in the first place what you have to do simply switch the brush back to black and black is going to erase all rub away the extras that you did not want paint in this very image so i'm just going to erase the extras just like that so a black brush is going to rub away the extras so i'm just going to erase it from there and also erase it from that area too so right now we are done evening out the skin tones of this very model so you can come the opacity and reduce on the opacity to your liking so it's the before after before after so after doing that you can now come and fine tune that becoming selective color and simply come and select the neutrals and you can now reduce on the amount of reds by taking up the science slider and you can increase on the contrast by simply taking the blacks to around one and also come to the black channel intensify the black slightly to around one and also come to uh, the yellow slider and take it towards the blue side to cool down the image so this is what we've been able to achieve and this is the before after before after so i just want to show you i can easily cre create a shortcut or an action for evening out the skin tones so i'll just delete those so in order to create an action within photoshop simply come to window and you're going to come to action so with the action window open right here you're just going to come and create a folder by left clicking on this set icon or the new set icon that looks like a folder and you can now come and name that to whatever you want so i'll just name mine to color and hit ok and you can see it has created that set or folder then left click on the action window and you can now create the action to maybe i'm just going to name this to skin tones and you can now change a set if at all you want to change where you want the action to be located. So mine is under color. So just come and assign a shortcut if at all you want to. And you can even assign a color. So simply hit record and you can see the action is now recording. So we shall do the same process. Come to gradient map right there and hide this. Select the icon right there and you can see everything you are doing is now being recorded every step is now being recorded so i'll come and briefly come to the properties right here and simply click on the color left click on that then map the darkest point of the skin tone come and hit ok left click on the brightest point with the location at 100 then choose the brightest point of the skin hit ok click in the middle type in 50 and choose a, a midpoint rather and hit ok and after doing this first step come back to your actions and stop recording the action so right now we have stopped recording action and just close that select the actions and i'm just going to delete this and simply come the actions this is the action that we have recorded simply play it and now come and now activate it change the blend mode from normal to color get the brush tool right there and select the white layer mask and press ctrl i and with the brush tool selected white as the foreground color you can increase on the size and simply come and paint over the skin just like that we are now trying or evening out the skin color or skin tones 
just like that reduce on the size and also paint over the neck area just like that then also paint over the face area and by just doing that we have been able to create even skin tones or even skin color so take your time as you're doing this i'm just doing a very quick job right here because i don't want the tutorial to be a long one so you can see right now we have been able to create even skin tones or even skin color within a short period of time just come the opacity if at all it is too much and reduce the opacity to your liking so this is a before after before after so this is how you can even out skin tones or skin color and match skin color within photoshop and how you can easily create an action for it so if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you yet more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating